Hi, this is Jackie Paisley. I am IFBB former pro of the 80s and 90s, and I just want to introduce myself. And this is not a comeback or a resurfacing or uh, anything like that um, or a debut, or else I wouldn't be making this video um, as sick as I am. So I think you can see I'm a little depleted. So anyone who does not want to see me cry or break down, because I have no script with this video, can turn it off right now. Okay. So um, what I want to tell you is it takes a long time. I have so many facets to this story. It kind of deserves a longer period of time. But I feel with the fans and people have been so good to me and helped me out, they, you guys deserve to know what's going on, what's going on with me in my life. Um, you know, this has been going on for about three years. Um, I am, I've had quite a journey with the silicone. And just so people who don't understand what I've gone through, and oh, you should be better by now, she should be better by now, oh, she should have had it covered by insurance, this should have happened. Well, none of that happened. I, I did my due diligence, and I went all over the place looking to see uh, what I could do about the issue of the silicone leak, which, by the way, was left in my chest wall by a surgeon here in town, prominent surgeon, and um, with he had a diagnosis that there was a leak and told me there wasn't. This is why it wants to di undiagnose for so long. Um, I did not have insurance for a five-year period after getting another pair of implants put in, which I told, they were told they were safe. All of us thought they were safe. So I made a decision, and the decision was not the best one for me to make. So uh, fast forward to 2010. By 2010, I was feeling very sick. And I had a mammogram and ultrasound, and they both showed that the leak wasn't just still there, but it had traveled into lymph nodes. Um, with my insurance and my family's pressure, um, because all kinds of things were going on. I had been to this naturopath, this functional doctor, this person. I didn't want the regular medical establishment anymore. So I had been put on sleep medicine because I could no longer sleep on my own. Unbeknownst to me, I had festering mold and bacteria in my system that was preventing my central nervous system from calming down. Um, so that's the only medical thing route that I went there as far as allopathic. Um, I was pressured by my family who doesn't live here and I only have my dad surviving now um, to try to see what I could do on insurance. So this just made me sicker. It took about a year and uh, at least nine months to get an MRI approved. By the time I got the MRI, I was so sick with, uh, from the dye they put in me, I, I could barely stand up after that, but it showed that the leak had gone into lymph nodes. And um, I had heard of a work um, and a book by Dr. Susan Kolb, who has now been my surgeon. And I read her book and I thought, my gosh, this, this sounds like me. I'm having so many of these symptoms. And I contacted her, and she was so kind to, to really give me some pointers. When you go to a surgeon, this is what you need to ask them. If they're not going to do it, they're not the right person for you. So four to five surgeons later, and astronomical quotes, um, and they wouldn't cover anything by, with insurance. Um, I decided I needed to raise money to go to Atlanta to have surgery with Dr. Susan Culp. This is where people have the... Um, questions. Well, why, why, I raised the money. Why do I need help again? Uh, the expenses were so astronomical. With my, I have a special needs son at home. I had to have help. I um, had to have a friend fly out with me finally in Atlanta to have the surgery because I was too ill to go and fly by myself. Um, I was out there for a week, which was uh, expenses for a hotel. Um, and my father put up, actually put the, up the surgery money because I didn't raise enough money um, from Facebook. I didn't, I wasn't interactive enough, and people, the, people were such just so kind. Um, so after the surgery, I had to go through four rounds of antifungals. I had to treat myself for nine months to, to a year for the bacteria, and all the same, the while um, I was itching like I want to get off my, the medicine, the other medicine for sleep. Um, so, uh, where was I? During this time, um, I was feeling terrible but forcing myself to work when I could. And I had someone helping me home with my son. Um, but when it was time to taper the medicine, that's when some of the real demons came out. I was, <laughs> again, 
um, sent the wrong direction several times, um, found out a rhythm of how to proceed with, with a benzodiazepine type of medicine that was done for, with a prescription and had twists and turns with that. So um, it's still going on. I have till February. I'm almost done. But something else happened that uh, almost brought me down completely. And it's now what I call the genetic code, which is actually a blessing in disguise. But for me, I almost lost my life. Um, in August, September, I started having um, horrible spells where I started uh, shaking and tremoring, and I almost seized over 60 times, and I did not know what was going on. It was due to getting vitamin D levels up, and it's too long of an explanation for this tape. Um, this, this, deserves, this deserves hours and hours in a book, which will be written for a subject, but why would vitamin D almost kill someone? Well, it turns out that I have had some genetic issues that also caused the silicone to cause to have so much problems and also made it harder for me to sleep in combination with everything else. So um, I was in such a bad way, I'll never forget this night. One night, I, my son was in the other room sleeping and I, I, I could feel my, my body having low threshold seizures. And anyone who wants to ask, why didn't you go to a doctor? There's no way someone who's been working for a year to taper a benzodiazepine medicine is going to go to a doctor who either will put them on that or an anti-seizure drug, and either would have killed me. Okay, I wouldn't be able, wouldn't have been able to handle either one, and I'm smart enough to know that and did my research. So I knew that one night that I could have chosen to live or die, and I at some points did not want to live, and that night I chose to live. That's when the fun began, and then I, uh, to my horror, I went through stages of healing, and this, this has been five and a half months now, and I watched myself do research, get articles, things that I would never be able to do, a, a sick person would never be able to do other than the, the grace of God, because I asked, what is, what is it that's going on? How can I help other people? Um, so... To wrap this up and make this very succinct, I will say that I found something that I have called the genetic code. And it is so profound and so uh, amazing that there is a way to treat this. I am not a candidate because I'm on a benzodiazepine medicine, hardly any, but I cannot do the treatment that I found to help this condition. So I had to go and <laughs> jump through hoops to get there. So I'm on the 12th system, and this has never been done by any human alive, and I know this to this fact because I, I put the system together myself. From hours and hours of research, I found myself in the library with this stuff together. Um, I can't explain anymore because will, I will lose every single person if I haven't already lost you, um, but this is what's keeping me going. So my son's keeping me going, my, one, the clients, the wonderful clients I'm seeing make incredible changes. You, wonderful fans, Derwin White, um, who you can go to his Facebook page, um, he has kept me going. And there's just, uh, and of course God, who gave me this assignment. <laughs> as much as I don't want to, didn't want to do it many times, um, that this is what my assignment is to, uh, to help as many people when I get through this. So I have a matter of weeks to pull out of this. I mean, ne next week I'll be done. This, this Thursday I'll be done and then um, a matter of weeks before the medicine is done. Then, since I have 10 lymph nodes removed from surgery, that, reroute, that will be rerouted and done by February. This has been a very long trip. It's been a two-year journey. So I'm asking for your help, if you can help in any way financially, uh, with web um, site you know, abilities, um, with networking, to keep me going financially so I can lay down what I need to put together materials I need to put together to bring forth the genetic code and the things to people that I need to help because this will help a lot of people. Um, I love um, I loved talking with Dave Palumbo of rxmuscle.com. Um, I have on my website jackiepaisley.com. Just go to my website and has an interview with him. He's a wonderful interviewer. I talked a lot about the silicone issues then and he was really good at directing me as to the key points with 
this issue because it's not going to go away. More and more people are going to have problems with it. Um, so uh, go to JackiePaisley.com and you'll see the information you need to see and there'll be more things with stories there. I also have some information on assessments I do and there'll be more information on um, the genetic code as I can describe it the best way possible because it's been the craziest ride I've ever been through in my life and I promise that I will talk more about that and I thank you for your time.